Class Dojo is a popular website and application used by teachers and parents all around. Not only can it do the basics, such as parent communication, and be used as a classroom management tool, but there are a few extra things embedded into the website which can be really positive to use in your classroom once you get to know them. Stay tuned and keep watching our video to find out a little bit more about Class Dojo and how to use it in your classroom. One of the great basic features about Class Dojo is their parent communication tab. This is an instant messaging system where the parents and teachers can message back and forth completely privately about anything they would like to update the other about the student. One reason I love the parent communication tab so much on Class Dojo is it can be translated instantly into over 35 languages. This is very useful when there is not a translator readily available and you need to get some information across to a parent or the parent really needs to get some information across to the teacher. Another great original feature of Class Dojo is their classroom management system. Students can select a fun character that their name is attached to and begin earning dojo points within their various classrooms for their good behavior. Dojo points are completely editable, so teachers or schools can choose what they want the students to be rewarded for. In my school, you can see here we have three ways to earn a dojo point, and they are by following one of the school rules, being safe, responsible, or respectful. In the Classroom Toolkit, there are eight neat features that you can use every day in your classroom with your students. The Classroom Timer is a great visual for students to know how much time they have left to work on an activity. While not every teacher may use cold calling in their classroom, if you do, the Random Student Selector is a great way to do that without having to keep track of popsicle sticks or another physical manipulative. If you're like me, you always find yourself struggling to make groups without grouping the same students together over and over. The Group Maker is an awesome way to quickly create groups of any size, and you can even choose which students probably shouldn't be grouped together. The Noise Meter is a great visual and a fun way for students to self-monitor how loud they're being during working time. But teacher be warned, let the students try it out and play with it first, otherwise they might spend the whole class period trying to see how high they can get the bars to go. If you have a lot of routine centers in your classroom, directions can be an awesome way to quickly put up a reminder on your screen during that center time for the students. The Think Pair Share feature is an awesome way to get your students talking during the day. It comes with preloaded questions that you might use in the morning or you can add your own to use in any academic or social emotional learning times. The Today feature is a great way to display a class message in the morning or as the students are transitioning back into the classroom any time of the day. Class Dojo also offers two channels to play music. One is focused that has much calmer music and one is active which has upbeat music to get students moving around. Beyond the classroom tools, there are also student portfolios. Within the student portfolios, not only can teachers assign group or individual assignments for students to upload work to, but students can freely upload work to their portfolio that they might want to share with their parent or teacher. This is great for my students when they want to share something that they're especially proud of and they can take a picture of it and post it right to their dojo page and their parents and teachers can instantly comment on it and see it as they go. Class Dojo has recently added a Big Ideas tab to their website. These Big Ideas are all related to social emotional learning. You can see here they have options like conundrums, growth mindset, perseverance, empathy, gratitude, and mindfulness. They also have moods and attitudes, big challenges, respect, and positive thinking. If you click on one of the little dojo monsters under one of these little categories, it brings you to a few videos that also have questions to get students thinking about mindfulness, empathy, gratitude, etc. These are super great to use in the classroom when you just need to take a step back and take a minute to think about one of these social emotional learning topics. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video about Class Dojo. We hope you learned something new today and will use something starting Monday in your classroom. See you later.